Yo, my name is Julian Melnick, and welcome back to the Console Gaming Channel. That's right, we're button mashers and thumbstick thrashers, and we're here to have a good time playing video games, guys. Today, we're talking about a topic that I've actually been thinking about a lot, which is all physical, all digital, which one should you go? With my purchase of the Xbox Series S, with Xbox, I'm stuck with all digital because I don't have a disk drive. But when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, what is going to be the best option for you? And you know, me personally, I've been finding myself leaning into the physical side. So I want to go over the four reasons why I think physical is a great option, if not a better option, and the one why I think that digital might have it beat. All right, so let's start with number one, and that is the game cartridge itself. Having the physical game cartridge grants you the access to play this game whenever you want. You don't have to worry about the online store going down and you not having access to that if for some reason your file gets corrupted or even worse yet you don't have to worry about having internet access to constantly keep everything ready to go now slight con to that is if you're getting a game on release day but digital you do get it immediately but you might have to wait until the store opens or until your amazon ships for you to get that physical copy thing number two is cost effectiveness well when you purchase a game physically you are able to actually sell it physically if you would like to you could purchase it and then if you're done with it you sell it off recoup some of the money and go ahead and purchase that next game now digital does go on sale from time to time and they have great sales at that but i will say being able to hold the game and then when you're done with it pass it to a buddy or just sell it off for 10 20 30 bucks thing number three space yeah having the game cartridge keeps the game on the game cartridge and with your Nintendo Switch having 32 gigs of internal storage as well as that extra spot for an SD card to expand your storage you might be running out quickly I know that I did I just had to go from 128 to 512 card inside to expand my storage because I purchase a lot of indie games and most of the time those are digital now to that point and this is kind of like a little extra tidbit and that is that indie games sometimes get a physical release <laughs> one like hades hades is a very popular roguelike game a lot of fun to play i didn't purchase it when it was all digital but then they announced that they were going to give it a physical title and this thing is beautiful it came with an extra booklet with all of the different gods in it as well as a, a key code to download the whole soundtrack which is quite beautiful i purchased the physical copy and there are other companies out there such as limited run games and super rare games that go and partner with these indie game production studios give them the option to do a run of their game title you can still get indie games on a physical cartridge and in fact after purchasing it it's no longer in production so you might actually purchase something that goes up in value and that's thing number four is the value of these game cartridges nintendo does have a lot of games that have gone around they also have a lot of different ways that these games have looked. They have the Game Boy cartridges, the Super Nintendo cartridges, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the original Nintendo. They have so many different versions, and these game cartridges, though they aren't cross-platform, you can't use a Game Boy cartridge on your Nintendo Switch, they do still hold their value, and in some instances, increase greatly in value. So if you're someone who's A, a collector, or B, looking to have a valuable collection, granted you have to pick the right games, you might be able to actually, down the line, recoup a lot of the the money that you spend on these games by just holding on to them for a while especially nintendo nintendo has a lot of games that are worth a great deal of money i know right now if you're trying to find like an original version of some of the fire emblem games good luck they're going for more than your price that they sold for when they were new all right let's jump into the last thing which is digital why would going all digital or purchasing games digitally beat out physical titles and it's going to come down to one very 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 specific thing and that is convenience man having a digital library is wildly convenient it is so easy to just switch from game to game to game granted the con being that you have to have a lot of internal storage but the convenience is great and i think that the convenience of digital gaming is why we see a lot of companies lean heavily into offering a digital system because people like the ability to just switch in and out of games at the drop of a hat now, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch specifically, do I think an all digital way is the way to go? And I would say for myself personally, no. I am someone who absolutely loves physical games. I always have. I've grown up unwrapping the cellophane of a new game, and it's just something that I really enjoy. But when it comes to this system, I am a combination of both. I want to have specific games with me and ready to go at all times. The ones I do have digitally are Super Smash Brothers, as well as Mario Kart, and Animal Crossing because those games are games I play often enough to where if 
I'm somewhere out and about and I have my system with me, I wanna make sure I can crack into them at the drop of a hat. Now, I also do have indie titles that are digital because I can't find physical versions of them, but when it comes to newer games like Pokemon Snap, this Hades, or the new games coming down the pike, such as the new Mario Golf, I will indeed purchase these physically because I think that physical games are super awesome and I love having them in hand. So let me know in the comments, are you someone who does this? Are you a physical game collector? Are you all digital because you want just to have the system in your pocket and you're good to go? Or are you a combination of both like myself? And if you are, which games do you want to have physically and which games do you want to have digitally? I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but go ahead and answer. That's what the comments are for. Fill it up. Let's fill these comments up. Guys, thanks for sticking with me through all this. And last, but certainly not least, you guys know what it is. Let's say it together. I think it's important. We can get up nice and close. We can make this intimate. Happy gaming.